giant cell arteritis categorized under secondary headache disorders. It is frequently suggested as temporal arteritis. Giant cell arteritis is a granulomatous inflammatory vasculopathy. Giant cell arteritis affects medium and large sized arteries, mostly on the superficial temporal artery. Older individuals are affected by this disorder. Older women have high percentage chances. An average age of 70 years. And the most important clinical aspect. Occurring in 90% of patients. Scalp tenderness. Jaw claudication. The condition may be associated with polyrealgia rheumatica in 50% of patients. Visual loss can occur in up to 20% of patients. Sedimentation rate and C-reactive protein are usually elevated. With a reported mean sedimentation rate of 70 mm per hour. It is recommended that high-dose steroid treatment is initiated immediately, followed by an early temporal artery biopsy. Newer non-invasive diagnostic modalities, such as temporal artery ultrasound, that could simplify the diagnosis. Age of disease beginning greater than 50 years. The progress of symptoms or findings beginning at the age of greater than 50 years. A fresh headache. The fresh onset of or the new type of localized pain in the head. Sequential artery abnormality. Chronological artery softness to palpation or decreased pulsation, not related to arteriosclerosis of cervical arteries. Elevated erythrocyte sedimentation rate. ESR 55 mm per hour by the Westergren method. Abnormal artery biopsy. Biopsy specimen with artery shell. Vasculitis characterized by a majority of mononuclear cell. Infiltration or granulomatous inflammation, frequently with. Multinucleated giant cells. <laughs>